Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Player Mouse. This is perhaps one of the goofiest rounds we've ever shot. I was at a hardware store and I saw some toggle bolts and I go, hey, maybe I can make some folding fin projectiles. I added a few faucet washers from a sink and assembled this thing. Now what do you think the odds are that this will even work and not maybe blow up the gun? Our target today is this loaf of ballistic gel. And this was generously donated by the Wound Channel. Okay, let's see how this ridiculous, this is, I don't know what to call this. Is, is it like the hardware store special? There you go, load it up. Yeah, I took it. Okay. <laughs> if you were trapped in a hardware store and all you had were, you know, a bunch of hardware parts and the robots were attacking you or, yeah, <laughs> you need a folding fin rocket real quick improvise so this that's that's the scenario here toggle bolt round hit it <laughs> ah, it's stuck into it you just barely look at that <laughs> yeah it didn't it didn't bend or anything that yeah let's do some more i think i went through it Hit it! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. So he, he went through here. Good, see if we can get that out of there. And then it and hit the back of the wood, put a good dent. And then the, the round is right there. It looked like it was flying straight though. <laughs> there it is. Don't open there. <laughs> Look at that. It's just barely bent. Look at the shot cup things on the back. Yeah, shove the shot cup up into this. It worked. Probably tore up the barrel, but. Or cleaned it. Yeah, I could have cleaned some of those other scratches off there. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Okay, let's have a look at what our high speed cameras captured. Now, it's one thing to see this in real time and kind of guess what happened, but it's a totally different thing to actually verify what's happening with a high-speed camera. Even though this round didn't fly level, it still flew straight. It didn't start flying sideways as oddball rounds often do. The second shot here was the one that went right through the ballistic gel and into the sand. As the round went through the ballistic gel, it exited and started tumbling, but it looked like it was flying straight. This is a little better camera angle at 600 frames per second, and you can see that it did indeed fly straight. And this is a little bit slower, this is 1200 frames per second, and you can see that the toggle bolt actually opened up and the round was flying perfectly straight. Even did a little twist there at the end. Since the second round went through, we put a block of wood behind the gel on shot three and the round again flew nice and straight and relatively accurate. I didn't really think these rounds would work. I didn't, I thought there was too many issues that could have happened. The long screw could have been all bent up from the cheese shock, but remarkably they worked exactly as we planned. Now I am willing to bet when I showed that goofy round at the beginning of this video, you probably thought there is no way this would ever work. So not only did the round operate mechanically the way we designed it, the round flew straight and the round was pretty accurate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.